My name is Trinity Hayes. I'm a seventh grader from SCO Middle School. Whoa! And this poem <laughs> and this poem is called Hope. Stargazing isn't really that interesting to me anymore because one night four years ago, that was the night my mom left our house. The night she left a mark on my forehead, a soft, warm kiss touching my skin with trembling lips on the verge of tears. The strength in her voice saying, I love you, I knew in that moment, I knew, that proved that things were wrong. I sat on my feet as a kid, I could hear my parents shouting back and forth, like arrows with dagger points, annihilating all within their range, and all I wanted to do was sink into the ground and never have to see the light again. To just be able to go away and not have to sit in pain and silence. Nine years of my life felt like it was never going to end. Day after day, night after night, I lie on my bed grasping onto the hope, the only hope keeping me from letting go. To just want to be left alone in a dark corner where no one bothered to pay attention to me except one asking if I was okay, responding with I'm fine, but that was ugly, an ugly lie. I wasn't okay, I wasn't fine. I was just barely reaching quietly, searching for help, just not raising my voice because it might eventually work out. Be a happy family, loving parents, Cheery and not depressed the next day, not stains of tears the next day at school, stamped with noise and fear. But the balloon of hope rapidly deflated as soon as I heard more fighting. <laughs> tears cascade from my eyes, falling to the ground, flooding it, staining it, etched with memories of that room, leaving them gray and dirty, but my mind still questioning to this day why. Why did it get so ugly? Why did it have to happen to our family, breaking us apart, dividing us piece by piece, one parent and then a brother, gone. Until I would see both parents every week because of papers that someone had to sign for everything to be better. For everything to be pretty and not ugly. It's still a mess at home, spending at least three, three to six days in a hospital searching for happiness, trying. <laughs> trying is what a descriptive word for what a white lie is, trying to be happy, trying to be together. My parents trying to be better. But trying wasn't my talent, not my way, everyone else's way to say I'm trying to fix it or I'm trying to work on it. Trying was a vehicle that made me a passenger of no control of where it was taking me. Trying is an odd word, how to explain the truth, an ugly truth in fact that we aren't really trying but just growing further and further away from each other, not trying to fix the past but saying we'll work on it. Like my parents used to say when they'd try to be better, but that's where it got me today. Today is the fact that we're all fighting over the dumbest things, something so trivial to the point where we ignore each other for hours or days and get into fights like my parents used to. More than half of the world's parents are splitting up because of fights and or other things, a fake plaster on smile that I use to hide the pain. A smile that people believed, a smile that they think is real, but I was an actor on the, t on the TV show of life, pretending I was okay, playing the role perfectly. Through it all, hope has been a faithful companion, making me stronger every day, buried within me, and deep down, I know I will be okay again.